Okay, so Chris Jones is still holding out. The Lions QB, Jared Go- Goff, Goff yeah. is one statistically... Yeah, it's written poorly. Is one of the best in the game with a clean pocket. Go ahead. Um, if the Lions win, who will have more regret? The Chiefs not caving to Chris Jones or you for getting your tattoo? All right. Do you, or how much, do I have any doubt about the Chiefs beating the Lions? Never a doubt. Did I ever have any doubt? Of course not. They're going to be, listen, Patrick Mahomes in week one is a starter. The Chiefs average 38 points. He has 18 touchdowns, zero picks. They win the games by an average of like 17. I'm not worried about week one. Week two, I love Jacksonville. That defense cannot slow down the Chiefs. I'm not worried about them in week two. And week three is Chicago. So the Chiefs have some time here. But I broke some news yesterday about the Chris Jones situation. It's very simple. Chris Jones wants a two-year extension fully guaranteed for $64 million. That's $32 million a year. That's a new money average of $32 million, obviously. That's more than Aaron Donald's 31.7. The Chiefs have offered him a two-year extension at just under $55 million. It's $27.25 million per year, fully guaranteed. That is of a new money average of $27.25 million. Quentin Williams' deal is $24 million a year. Jeffrey Simmons' deal, $23.5 million a year. Now, my friend Mike Florio, friend. is he is my friend. I've known Mike for since I did radio in Kansas City. He is reporting the same thing, but has a very different perspective on it. He What Mike is doing is Mike is taking those two-year extensions, be it $54 million or $64 million, adding them to the year he ha- Chris has left on his deal and averaging it out from there. And he's doing it because Aaron Donald, when he got his deal, the Rams ripped up the end of his deal and gave him a totally new deal. I don't, I don't think that is typically how these new deals are calculated. So I will give you an example. Quinnen Williams... When he got his new deal, it was four years, $96 million. That's an average of $24 million a year. That is exactly what was reported, $24 million a year. However, he had a year left on his contract that was going to pay him $10 million bucks. So if you add those two together, I'm sorry, 12 million bucks, instead of being a four-year, $96 million deal, it's a five-year, $108 million deal. And that then, of course, changes the math. That then, instead of being an average of 24 million a year, it's an average, what's 108 divided by five, Diora? 21.8. It's an average of 21.8 million a year. So, if you want to talk new money average or total average, that I'm not really trying to have that semantic debate. What I know is the Chiefs have offered two years, $54.5 million, fully guaranteed. Chris wants two years, $64 million, fully guaranteed. And the sides don't seem like they're moving. And it's obviously a problem for Kansas City. I, now, do I think... It submarines their chances of winning the Super Bowl? Of course not, because there's no chance Chris misses the whole year. But he is, it would appear, going to miss week one, and maybe he does stay out till week seven. Now, do I think the Chiefs can go 7-0 and without Chris Jones? Yes. Do I think they can win the Super Bowl without him? I don't know, but they wouldn't have to. But if they don't get an extension done, then the relationship is probably ruined moving, I don't want to say ruined, but at least damaged moving forward, and that's obviously problematic. So this isn't, I'm not going to act like this is great, everything's all sunny, but that's the details on it, that's where we're at with the Chiefs and uh, Chris Jones. You have a follow-up question. Yeah, preseason Super Bowl tattoos never pan out. Did you jinx the Chiefs by getting your tattoo? And are Uh, Jinxes aren't real. Okay, I I don't know about that, but. Jinxes aren't real. I don't know about that. Okay, so like, all right, I'm not going to argue with you about jinxes. It's nonsense. It's mysticism. I'm not doing it. Mysticism. But 
There's never a doubt, guys. And this is going to go down as an all-time legendary sports media moment when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, and I have the video of me in our season picks show on television showing before the year the Never a Doubt tattoo on national television. Now, and I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, because we unveiled the Never a Doubt to go along with the 20 and 0 pick. As long as they win the Super Bowl, this tattoo was correct. Is it, am, I, am I guaranteeing 20 and 0? Yes, but am I extra guaranteeing the the Super Bowl? That's what it is. What? So, like, the sports gods are real, but jinxes is Exactly aren't. right. I'm sorry, I believe in God. Sorry. Sorry, I believe in God. Yeah, sorry. I mean, That's sorry. insane. I know you Gen Zers, you know what I mean? Oh my yeah, goodness. I mean, you probably make fun of me for that. Yeah, I believe in a higher power. I don't believe... And you think that the if... sports gods is, is the one that's up there? What, what? God's not allowed to have an interest in sports? Oh He's my not allowed goodness. to... You know what I mean? Have He's busy. He's you know all-knowing, all-powerful being, I would imagine. You know what I mean? I mean, he created Patrick Mahomes. So I would imagine he has a vested interest in his success. Like, if the sports gods are real, you know, does mm -hmm. it help that you were wearing a Bengals shirt while you were getting your tattoo? I was not wearing a Bengals shirt. Don't. I was wearing <laughs> a Kinzo shirt. The, don't you dare I don't know. call that a Bengals shirt. The sports gods might get confused. Okay, you know? the guy, listen, they're infallible. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.